How's it going, America? You guys want to drive some more freedom neighborhoods in Oklahoma? That's what we're going to do today. So if you're interested in moving to Edmond, Oklahoma, you know, Oklahoma, freedom state, and you're looking for homes with land, homes with a little bit of acreage, those are the neighborhoods we're going to drive today. So I hope you're going to enjoy today's video. If not, be sure to hit the thumbs down twice. Now, let's get started on our drive. As you can see, I'm pulling off I-35 here at uh, 33rd and I-35 in Edmond, and we are going to turn west, which is left. That truck let me go first. I'm not sure if he wanted me to, though. I think he was staring at me. But it's okay, because I was busy making sure that I'm heading to the right neighborhoods for you today. So, as we're pulling up to these first neighborhoods, I want to remind you, if you're moving to, moving, relocating to, or moving within Oklahoma, give me a call. The agents that I work with and I are here to earn your business. We sell real estate for a living. That's what we do. And that's why I make these cool videos to help buyers become super informed when buying their homes so I, we can help them buy their houses. Now, the first neighborhood up here on the left is called... <laughs> Let me grab that real quick. Um, I just had it. Oh my goodness, I need to hurry. One second. Okay, let's get ready to tell me the name, but I'm going to look up the name too. And this neighborhood is really weird. It's divided into two parts. So that, that like, one is Arrowhead Trails, and the other one is, uh, Henderson Hills? Is that right? Here, let me see. No, I don't see I don't see anything pulling in the neighborhood here. Here, let me grab this real quick. I'm on the computer getting us that information. And uh, but as you can notice, while we're driving through here and while I'm picking up this uh, information, they have a little park right there to the left. How cool is that? Is that not awesome? And here we go into the east part of the neighborhood, which is called I'm getting it as we speak Henderson Estates North Henderson Estates North that is what it is called and over the last year there's been two cells in the neighborhood there's not many homes available because it's very very awesome lots wooded lots with homes that were built uh, one was built in 1966 and the other one was built in 2020 so you got a brand new home and then a portion of the neighborhood that was built in 1966. The 1966 home was sitting on one point, where'd that go? I just had 1.14 acres, 1.14 acres, and it sold for $147.90 a square foot. $147.90 a square foot in Henderson Estates North, and it was basically original. 1966 for mica countertops all that stuff super original one second um but it was listed for 180 sold for 180 sold in only two days sold in only two days look at that oh man isn't aren't those wooded lots just beautiful god and look at that sky that's an america sky that's a freedom sky that's no you better not get out of your house sky that's a Let's walk around the neighborhood with the dogs type sky. That's what that is right there. So this is basically one street with a cul-de-sac that we're going to turn around up here to the east. I'm turning right. That's east, in case you didn't know. And, yeah, we're going to circle around this cul-de-sac and go back. Uh-oh. Is that one of them 5G wireless towers? Better look out. Better look out. You know what that 5G does? I don't know what it does. I'm having fun on the video. I sell real estate. I don't I don't know about the 5G. So here we go. Now we're driving back south and we're gonna go into Arrowhead Trails and Arrowhead It's there's two different parts to this <laughs> to the next neighborhood. So this neighborhood you think it'd be one, but it's not. It's two different parts. So the the home that was a 2020 home, let me get you the stats on that real quick. We're still talking about Henderson Estates. That's the neighborhood we're in right now. Henderson Estates and that 2020 home sold for $399,999. Dollars. 
$1,399,999, square foot, 158.92 square foot, 2,500 square foot house, and it was on one acre, on one acre. All right. Now, before we get into the next neighborhood, let me get you the stats on that one. So while I'm looking that up, you guys enjoy your drive. Okay, as soon as we cross, once we go past the play set there, now we're in a new neighborhood, okay? Same entrance and extra exit, but it's a new neighborhood. So let me get you Arrowhead Trails. Arrowhead Trails, I was right on that. Okay, let me grab the stats on that real quick. Arrowhead Trails, and this is over the last year. These, these beautiful wooded acre lots with houses on them, I've got to go back a year to get some decent stats for you. If I don't go back a year, I have almost no stats because people don't really sell them that often. So, okay, look at that Arrowhead Trails. The neighborhood was built in the 1970s, built in the 1970s, and you can cur currently get in that neighborhood for um, $400,000, $400,000, and then one did just sell for $531. Thousand dollars, five hundred thirty-one thousand dollars. It was listed at five hundred forty-two. Ended up selling for five thirty-one. Five thirty-one. Arrowhead Trails. And today we're looking at houses in Edmond, Oklahoma, on acreages, little little one-acre lots. Uh, the oh, sorry. Let me take that back. Arrowhead Trails are two point two seven acre lots. Two point two seven acre lots. Two point seven two acre lots two point seven two acre lots so these are the big lots gives you a lot of room to enjoy yourselves a lot of room to stay away from your neighbors and they're wooded you know who doesn't like the shade and just some really peaceful lots just look at that drive look at that drive god those are some grand grand spacious lots some people getting some landscaping done up here on the right some landscaping done up here on the right let me shrink this so it quits jittering so much okay perfect and this portion of this neighborhood is called arrowhead trails arrowhead trails we're gonna go up here and circle around to the left which is also the west circle around to the west and you can buy in this neighborhood between 400,000 and 531,000 these are 1970s style homes on two plus acre lots two plus acre lots now while you guys are enjoying this drive i'm going to pull up the next neighborhood and have that information available I'm also going to check some text messages and answer some emails while you guys are enjoying this drive. And if you have any questions on any of these lots or neighborhoods like this in Edmond, uh, I can't believe I forgot. Reach out to us. Reach out to us. The number below, call, text, or email, um, all that information popping up on the screen right now. Reach out to us. We're here to help you when you're relocating to, moving to, or moving within Oklahoma. In the Oklahoma City metro area, in the Stillwater metro area, we got agents all over the state. Call us. Call us. We're here to help.
Man, that is a beautiful looking home there on the right. These lots are huge. These lots are huge. Giant circle driveway there on the left. All right, this next neighborhood that we're getting ready to go into is also part of the Arrowhead neighborhood. This portion that we're leaving right now is called Arrowhead Trails, and we're entering Arrowhead Hills. Arrowhead Hills is what we're getting ready to enter. I guess it's right. Okay, uh, let's go back. We're going to Arrowhead Hills next. Arrowhead Hills. Um, not Arrowhead Trails. That's the area that we just left. Arrowhead Hills. So let's whew, cruise on west. Huh. Let's cruise on west down 33rd Street to Arrowhead Hills. All right, here we go, pulling into the neighborhood. These houses are a little less expensive than the last two neighborhoods that we went to. These houses sell in between 112 a foot and all the way up to 139 a foot, 112 foot all the way up to 139 foot. And these houses were built in the 70s and 80s, 70s and 80s. Over the last year, We've had 1971, 1984, 1988, 1978 year built houses. Just look at these wooded lots, huh? This is awesome. Lot sizes range between a half acre all the way up to a full acre. Half acre all the way up to a full acre. So they're a little more manageable when it comes to mowing. You, uh, If you have the time and you enjoy mowing, you get the little zero turn, pick it up at a dealer at a dealer that way it's put together all the way uh, for about three thousand dollars you know little zero turn take care of a half acre in no time no time whatsoever but just look at these lots half acre still gives you a lot of space a lot of space between the neighbors and yourselves man these are some good looking lots and the mature trees all that shade That'll definitely help out in the Oklahoma heat. When it says it feels like 110 outside and you get some shade, that could drop the degrees quite a bit. Quite a bit. All right, if you're just joining us or you're checking out Arrowhead Hills neighborhood specifically, my name is Josh Bardet, the agents that I work with at eXp Realty, and I, we're here to help you. When you're coming to Oklahoma, relocating, moving to, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City metro area. Today's video is on Edmond, Oklahoma homes on acreages. Edmond, Oklahoma homes on acreages. And the information to contact us is popping up on the screen. Call, text, or email us, and we'll get to work helping you move within. Got to sell a home, move a home, and move to Oklahoma, the Oklahoma City metro area. Today's neighborhood drive is Edmond, Oklahoma homes with acreage. Homes with acreage. This is the Arrowhead, Arrowhead Hills, Arrowhead Hills edition, and homes were built in this neighborhood between 1971, uh, in the 1970s and the 1980s. Over the last year, because homes don't come up for sale too often in this neighborhood, over the last year, we've had a 1971 home, 1984 home, 1988 home, and a 1978 home. 
lot sizes from 0.92 acres to 0.42 acres. Sales prices from 365 all the way up to 579.9. 579.9 gives you a square foot range of $112 a square foot all the way up to $139 a square foot. All right, now while you enjoy the rest of the drive through Arrowhead Hills, I'm going to get the data for the next neighborhood, which is just across the street. All right, as we're pulling out into this neighborhood, we're going to go over to Woodruff's Tall Oaks. Woodruff's Tall Oaks. Let me grab the data on that neighborhood. And we're also going to look at Harris Tall Oaks. We're going to look at both of these neighborhoods while we're over here. But the first neighborhood we're going in is Woodruff Tall Oaks. Woodruff Tall Oaks. And then we'll circle into Harris's Tall Oaks after we... Here, and I'll let you know when we're going in there. But when you're first pulling into Woodruff's Tall Oaks, Woodruff's Tall Oaks, you're looking at houses selling between $125 a square foot all the way up to $200 a square foot. And houses that were built in the 1970s. There is one that was built in 1991, um, but it still falls in line with the sales price of the other neighborhoods. So Woodruff Tall Oaks is what we're looking at right now. These lot sizes range from 0.9 acres all the way up to 1.03 acres. 0.9 acres all the way up to 0.013 acres. And this is Woodruff Tall Oaks. Woodruff Tall Oaks. Let me grab you some more information on the neighborhood. Okay, all right, this is where we're getting ready to pull into Harrison Tall Oaks. So I'll come back to the Woodruff Tall Oaks information as soon as we get done in the Harrison Tall Oaks. Let me jump back over to the Harrison Tall Oaks right now. Okay, so clear this out, undo that. So this is Harris's, Harris Tall Oaks. Harris Tall Oaks is this section that we're pulling in right now, and it's just a circle. There's a circle drive around here. And I will get you that information. Okay, I've got that information. Okay, perfect. You could buy into Harris Tall Oaks, and these are half acre lots all the way up to 0.8 acre lots. Half acre lots all the way up to 0.8 acre lots. Homes in Harris Tall Oaks range from $500,000 all the way up to $875,000. And they're selling between 148 a square foot all the way up to 180 a square foot. 
148 in a square foot all the way up to 180 square foot. And this neighborhood was built in the 80s, 1984 all the way up to 1990. 1984 all the way up to 1990. And you're looking at an average square foot price of 155 a square foot. Houses in Harris Tall Oaks range from three beds all the way up to five beds. And most have three car garages. One had a five car garage. The house that sold for $9.75 had a five car garage. That's probably a shop building with a three car garage because it looks like every single home in this neighborhood has a three car garage. Woo! Oh. And as I was saying before, we have four beds, three beds, four beds, five beds. All over the last year sold with the average days on the market of 73 days. 73 days. So people may be starting out with their house priced a little high in this neighborhood at first. And then, because uh, we've got a three days on market, 11 days on market. And then we have one that's 143 and one that's 134. So those houses sat for a little bit before they sold. All right. Harris. Wood Oaks, Harris Wood Oaks, I'm going to let you finish this, Tall Oaks, Harris Tall Oaks, Harris Tall Oaks, sorry about that, while you're enjoying the drive to this neighborhood, I'm going to go back to the other neighborhood and get those results because the, they connect and we're getting ready to go into it, so Woodruff Tall Oaks is the neighborhood we're getting ready to go back into. Okay, we're pulling back into Woodruff Tall Oaks as we speak, let's get to the other side of that stop sign. And this neighborhood has the larger lots. It has the 0.92 acre lots all the way up to the 1.03 acre lots. So these lots take a lot more to mow. You definitely want a zero turn for these lots or a garden tractor. All right. Houses in this neighborhood range from only 350000 all the way up to 990000 $350,000 house sold for one twenty-five dollars a square foot. So it probably needs some work. So there's some really huge horse properties down here to the south. You look to the left here. Those are some really huge horse properties. They're not part of the neighborhood. I'm going to get a drink while you guys enjoy the rest of this drive. This is just a little cul-de-sac. We're going to go up here and turn around. Whereas your other houses sold for 144 155 Whew. Excuse me. Sorry about that. And all the way up to $200,000 a foot. $200,000 a foot. Let me grab you the stats on this. In the Woodruff Tall Oaks neighborhood, you're looking at prices ranging from, like I had said before, $525,000 all the way up to $875,000. $500,000 all the way up to $875,000. And you're looking at three beds, four beds, five beds, and two six beds. Two six beds. So these are some very, very large homes. Um, two of the homes sold in only zero days on the market. So those may have been sold before they even hit the market. Those homes may have been sold before they even hit the market. Um, 97 days on market, 25 days on market, 5 days on market, and then two that were zero days on market. So that gives you a market average of 24 days. 24 days on market and this is for the Woodruff Tall Oaks neighborhood and so we finished that little cul-de-sac we're gonna go back to the road we came out of and head back north through Woodruff Tall Oaks and head back to 33rd Street we'll be able to see the rest of Woodruff Tall Oaks as we're heading north these are 0.9 acre lots all the way up to 1.03 acre lots 0.9 acre lots all the way up to 0 0.03 acre lots. The mature trees the landscaping really pretty lots really pretty neighborhood you 
If you guys are just joining us, my name is Josh Barnett, EXP Realty, a team of agents that I work with at EXP and I are here to earn your business. Give us a call, shoot us a text or email when you're making your move to Oklahoma, relocating to or moving within. We're here to help you when making that move. Look at that sky. Does that sky not look awesome? Wow, wow, wow. Look at this house. This house is amazing. That one on the corner there on the left. Wow. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video a little bit. Uh, not not on your end, but on my end. And that way I'll see you guys at the next neighborhood. I'll jump in as we're pulling into the next neighborhood.
All right, so we just crossed over I-35 again, and we are heading east on Memorial, heading east on Memorial, and we're gonna go over um, the part, let me let me see if I can look up the exact name of it. Lake Arcadia, I believe it's called the overflow area of Lake Arcadia. Let me, let me see if Google Maps will tell me exactly what it's called. But as we're coming up here, as we get through this thicket, as we get through these trees right here, it's going to open up, and that's Lake Arcadia to our north and to the south. Uh, Google Maps doesn't tell me what it's called, but it's like the overflow area for when Lake Arcadia gets too heavy. It'll back up on this in, in this area to the south and north. Okay, you kind of saw it right there. Okay, look, to the, look to the north here. See that? That's Lake Arcadia. And we're heading east on Memorial. East on Memorial. I wish I'd put the camera in super view. I'm sorry I didn't. Okay, when we get up here to Midwest Boulevard, I'll be back. And we're going to head north on Midwest Boulevard so I can show you guys the next neighborhood. All right, coming up on Midwest Boulevard, get right heading north into a jewel of a little neighborhood a lot of people don't know about. It's called Little Oaks. Little Oaks, amazing, amazing little neighborhood. It's going to be up here on our east, up here on our east. And I, this neighborhood is so amazing, I had to go back two years to get any cells because when people move in here, they don't ever leave. They do not ever leave. This is an awesome little neighborhood. I think there's only like 30 houses all together in this neighborhood maybe maybe more than that but they are great little houses on one acre one acre plus tracks one acre one acre plus tracks I just love this neighborhood and it's a it's an oval we just oval around it and remember these stats are two years old no house is sold in this neighborhood in the last year these are two year old stats so two years ago you could buy into this neighborhood between 126 and 156 a square foot. That's That has to have gone up by now. 126 to 156 a square foot. And the houses in this neighborhood were built in the late 1990s. Late 1990s. You've got four beds to five beds in this neighborhood typically. One second. You have four beds to five beds in this neighborhood typically. And I swear you get turkey, you get deer, you get all the wildlife you could think of, especially down by the um, neighborhood retention pond, down by the neighborhood retention pond. Let me zoom over real quick. I'm pretty sure there's a place set on the retention pond too. Maybe not. Maybe not. There's probably 50 houses in this neighborhood. 50 houses in this neighborhood. And they're on well water. I believe they're all on well water. Let me double check that real quick. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're on septic and well. Septic and well in this neighborhood. So you get your own nice clean water. And then here's the neighborhood of Reticha Pond where you see the turkey, the deer, all the wildlife right there on the right. And they don't have um, they don't have a place out there. I thought they did, but they don't. And these houses go to Edmund Memorial High School. Edmund Memorial High School. And they they were built in the 90s. They were built in the 90s. You could buy in this neighborhood. These are two-year-old stats. Two years ago, you could buy in the neighborhood around uh, 400,000 plus, 400,000 plus dollars, 415 up to 440. But that's that has that has to have gone up because this neighborhood is amazing. And that's 126 a square foot up to 156. Two-year-old stats. Two-year-old stats. Look at that. These are one-acre lot houses. Homes with acreage in Edmond, Oklahoma. One acre lot houses. God. This is a great little neighborhood. If you're making a move to Edmond, Oklahoma, making a move to Oklahoma in the Oklahoma City metro area, give us a call. The agents that I work with and I are here to help earn your business. We want to help you when you're relocating to, moving to, or moving within Oklahoma. I wasn't... That guy, I don't think he knew I was recording because he just passed me in a neighborhood. But I'm I'm enjoying the drive. I want to bring these neighborhoods to you so that you can see them. And he's he's busy doing a job, so he's doing something totally different than me. So I could understand that he wanted to pass me, but I just don't know if he's supposed to. And I and I'm not upset about it. I I understand he's doing a job. I understand he she he or she is doing a job. No worries. All right, guys. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this drive with me today. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends who are thinking about moving to Oklahoma who want to live in a freedom state where you can worship, where you can go to the grocery store, where you can go to work. If you're thinking about moving to a freedom state, the agents that I work with and I are here to earn your business. Call the number below. Text the number below. Shoot us an email when making a move to Oklahoma. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next clip. Oh, and don't forget, I got some videos popping up somewhere on this screen. I've got, I've got probably over there. Let me, let me make sure I'm looking in the right direction. Um, nope, probably over there. Probably some videos popping up over there. Enjoy those videos too. We talk about the cost of living in Edmond, Oklahoma, and the pros and cons of Edmond, Oklahoma. So I hope you enjoy those videos. All right, see you guys on the next clip.